Hold on. Is this really a Buick? I mean, this thing looks fantastic. If you want to get attention, start with style, back it up with content and a good price. We'll find out if this Buick delivers. Andrea, this is like returning to my youth. I learned to drive on a Buick. My first car was a Buick. My mom had a Buick. My stepfather had a Buick station wagon. We were a Buick family. I'm a big fan. With this one, what's under the hood? A two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with a nine speed automatic transmission. It has 228 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. In Canada, front wheel drive comes standard on the base model. All other trims are all wheel drive, but in the US, Every trim gets front wheel drive and all wheel drive. All right, we should probably uh, tackle the elephant in the room. This car is made where, Andrea? It's made in China. Now, some people are really freaked out about that yeah. and they get all wigged out. Meanwhile, this camera, these lights, the phone, your laptop, your flat screen TV, yeah. pretty much everything in your house is made in China. But a car, oh no, no, couldn't do that. Hold on, Zach, you're jumping ahead. That's actually our hot topic. We also have questions, coffee and cars for your consideration. Fuel economy, pricing. It's all coming up, but right now, we're gonna get into the key standard features. The Envision comes standard with a 10.2 inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, heated front seats, heated leather wrapped steering wheel, hands-free power tailgate, LED headlamps and tail lamps, a 17 inch spare tire, 18 inch wheels, forward collision alert, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. Oh, Andrea, this has got a push button transmission, but what do we have to put it in? You've got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit the notification bell, it really helps the channel. You'll be notified when the videos drop and then you can watch them and stick with this channel. We drop five videos a week. So every Wednesday afternoon, we drop one of these, a couple car review. And we do another couple car review on Saturday. On Monday evening, we answer your questions with our live question and answer. On Tuesday, we do a comparison video. And on Friday, we do a unique classic or collectible car in their Survivor Series. While you're at it, if you want to get a sneak peek about what's coming up and when the videos are going to drop, follow Andrea. Also get questions in. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. And for me, it's motormouth underscore Andrea. Auto and the links are below. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. So what do you want to say about this Buick? Well, it sure doesn't look like a Buick, does it? It's youthful, athletic looking. What a great exterior design. And this is a vehicle that I think if you took the badge off it mm. and you parked it on a street and you asked somebody, what is that? They couldn't give you an answer. Well, some of our followers from Instagram said, okay, I see the Stelvio, I see a Mazda, I see a Jag F-Pace, I see the MDX with the front grill. What Buick hopes is you see some love and you'll walk into the dealer and buy one. That's what they're hoping. But I think a very nice looking car. Oh, really nice looking. And Buick really is looking for some younger buyers in this vehicle. Their <laughs> average age is, what? is 59, but it has actually gone down over the past five years. It used to be 65, so this is good news. So a lot of people are interested in the Avenir. That's their top posh kind of trim. This is not that. This is no. one down from that, and it has the ST trim, which stands for what? Sport Touring. This has a Sport Touring package to it. You can get it on the Essence trim. You can get it on the base model trim. The Avenir has a different look to it. But this has the black accents throughout. It's got the black wheels. It looks very cool and sporty. It's kind of the same thing Cadillac has done. Cadillac has their luxury line yeah. and they have their sport line. You have to decide which one you like. Now one major omission, I love it. There's no sunroof. There is no panel roof. Nope. This is this is just perfect for me in a sunny day. So you can get a panel roof for almost $1,800, which I would add to this Essence trim for oh, sure. Here's the way it would go in our house. I don't like a sunroof. Andrea says, I want a sunroof. Guess what happens? What do we get? 
we will get a sunroof, but also I think for resale value, I think there's more people who want a sunroof than not. Why would you not want a sunroof? Now sitting here looking over where you are, it's got this wraparound cockpit. It's very yeah. stylish. Yeah, it is stylish. It's got a 10.2 inch touch screen. I think it's very well designed. There's plenty of storage. It does have the button shifter, uh. which we are not a fan of. These ones you pull up except for park, you push down. I mean, it's something to get used to, I suppose, but it's definitely not for me. I prefer the traditional console shifter. It's the answer to the question nobody was asking, honestly. If you just put a regular shifter in there, people wouldn't be like, oh, I wish it had a push button, trust me. Yeah. Nobody would be saying that. These seats are super comfortable. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, soft, plush. I like the seating position. You have this lower dash and you can sit up and over it. It's really quite nice. From that seating position, the dash blends right into the hood. It's a very well designed uh, cockpit yeah. ergonomically. Uh, comfortable, really well put together. You've got a floating dash. That seems to be the trend these days. Yes. Uh, but this wraparound design facing the driver, do you like that? I don't mind it. I mean, I think it's really targeted to the driver to make it a very comfortable drive for you. On size, this is right in the meat of the compact luxury SUV market. Yeah. So it's basically the same size as an Audi Q5, as a um, Cadillac XT5. X yeah. XT5 might be a little bit bigger, but the back seat is big. Back seat is super spacious. It's surprising to me. I thought it would be a little bit smaller, more like a Q3, but it really is more like the Q5. Cargo space is sufficient yeah, as the car well. The cargo space, um, I think they've added more space to the rear seats and taken maybe a little bit out of the cargo space. And I'm okay with that because if you really need more cargo space, you can fold those seats down. Yeah, this is longer and wider than the previous model. It sits a little bit lower. And it looks way better. Yeah, it makes it look sportier. All right, you had questions. Let's get to them with coffee, of course. Time now for questions, coffee, and cars. Your questions from Instagram. How is the tech in the car compared to other infotainment systems? It's excellent. They've improved the tech. It now comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. And it also has Amazon Alexa, which what? is available. General Motors leads in this category. You get standard OnStar. Their vehicles come with a Wi-Fi hotspot. You get Android, Apple. You get nice big screens. And the thing for me is easy to use. Yeah. From 18 to 80, you can use this system. That's how good General Motors systems are. Just really simple and intuitive. Sorry, from 16 to 80, but it doesn't rhyme as well. No, okay. Okay, Zach, <laughs> he's into the rhyming game today. 18 to 80. Okay, this is one that I've had my eye on. Do you know if there are any plans for this model to come with a V6? Doubtful. And does the 4 give it the hamster wheel around when hitting the highway? Yes, <laughs> definitely a hamster wheel sound. That's for harsh. Sure. That's harsh. I would say that when you're driving on the highway, it's fine. It's when you accelerate quickly or you're going up a hill, that's where you're going to hear it a little bit. This engine is quite noisy on startup. When it's cold initially, once it warms after after about a minute or so, it quiets right down. Yeah. Uh, but that's one thing they could certainly work on. More style and presence than a Cadillac XT5, in my opinion, unless you really want a Caddy why would you buy one over this? Because it's a caddy. Um, and also because there's more power. The XT5 offers two engines, a turbo four, which has more horsepower than this. And of course, a V6 with 310 horsepower, but more expensive if you get the V6. So it's hard to compare, isn't it? The 3.6 liter V6 has been around forever. That's a proven powertrain. So the Cadillac is at the end of yeah. its run. There's going to be a new one coming. This is a brand and new vehicle, so you're comparing an old versus a new. Um, it, do you like blondes? Do you like brunettes? I'm going to use that a lot. People seem to like that. I know, it's blondes good. versus brunettes. We know what he likes, though, right? This. Uh, I like you, Andrea. That's the right answer. <laughs> if I know what's good for me. <laughs> good one, Zach. He's smart. This Buick, I believe, has its power reduced to make it more affordable. It used to have higher horsepower and torque. For a luxury brand, I don't think that's a smart idea to do that. I always want a punchy vehicle. If I choose to pay for a higher brand, am I right? 
Well, I think you are kind, kind of. of right in a way. This Envision falls between two categories. It has this space of a Q5, let's say, or a Corsair, but it has the horsepower and torque of a Q3, Q3 yeah. X1 GLA. And it has the price point of those lower, of those the smaller. lower ones. It's actually quite clever if you think about it, because I'm here to tell you, Andrea, a lot of people won't care. No, they won't they'll care. Go, they'll go, ooh, I, I like the blue one. I like the gray one. You know what? People who are really, really into car reviews and stuff like that, you, you get it. I get it. We get it. We want the power. We, but, we get it. But most people do not buy cars like that. They go, I like the way it looks. I like the interior. I like the color. How much is it a month? And is it comfortable? A lot mm -hmm. of people are commuting daily. They're in their car a lot and they prefer just a comfortable drive than all the power. But they're getting a good deal with this car and that will actually be a bigger selling feature than having a little bit more power. Absolutely. And that's it. Thanks for all of your great questions as usual. If you want to get a question in, uh, follow Andrea. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. The link is also below. And because you hear the music, it's time for nightlife. We keep back one question from Questions Coffee and Cars and expand on it. It's our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? Awesome looking vehicle. Unfortunately, my limiting prescription of a vehicle that is manufactured in China is that it would not be of high quality or reliability, which is very likely an inaccurate thought. I say all this while responding to you on my much beloved iPhone that's manufactured in China. Time will tell if it stands the test of time provided people buy it. Is he wondering how reliable his iPhone's gonna be? No, I think he's wondering <laughs> about the Buick. Uh, you know what? We have some information for you about Buick that is going to be an eye-opener for most people. Andrea did some digging on J.D. Power. The 2021 Dependability Study puts Buick at number five just below Toyota. Okay, so that's this year. I have been following this trend for about 10 years. Yeah. If you go back and you look at the dependability studies, by the way, that's following cars after three years of ownership, so they're not brand new. Then you look at their initial quality study, which is uh, vehicles in the first 90 days of ownership, which is when some issues can come up. Yeah. Buick is near the top year after year after year after year. These are very reliable vehicles. Yeah, and you know, 80% of Buicks are sold in China. China, and they are extremely popular there. I am sure if they were breaking down all the time, they wouldn't be so popular. Well, this is the thing about manufacturing processes around the world. General Motors has the same manufacturing processes where the car is made in Indiana or China or you know maybe when they were used to be made in uh, Europe. Um, so the quality that they put into the cars for North America will be the same as the Chinese one. Of course. And, and that quality for Buick is very high. It's impressive, actually. When you look at all these different studies and you really drill down on it, Buick has done really well for itself. All right. What else can you buy for your money? Let's have a look at that. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. A direct competitor from Lincoln is the Corsair. It offers two engines, a 250 horsepower 2.0-liter four-cylinder and a 280 horsepower 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine. Both come with an eight-speed automatic. The 2.0-liter has a starting price of almost $45,000 and the 2.3-liter, $59,000. Up next is the Cadillac XT5. It comes with two engines, a two liter turbo four and a 3.6 liter V6, both with a nine speed automatic transmission. The turbo four has 235 horsepower and the V6, 310 horsepower. It has a starting price of just over 44,000 and the V6, 52 and a half thousand. Up next, the Acura RDX. It has a two liter turbo four cylinder engine and a 10 speed automatic transmission. A lot of power at 272 horsepower and a starting price of 44 and a half thousand dollars. And finally, the Audi Q5, the number one seller in this category. It has a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with a seven speed automatic transmission. 261 horsepower and a starting price of forty-six and a half thousand dollars. So there are four vehicles for you to consider. 
Okay, Andrea, when I say Buick, what do you think? Soft suspension, comfortable, luxurious. That's exactly what this is. This is not going to be your typical European driving SUV. No. It's more in the traditional sort of North American luxury. It's very smooth, it's very comfortable, yeah. but there's a big market for that, Andrea. People like comfortable, soft, relaxing cars, and this is what this is. I see why people would really enjoy this, why they would buy it. Yeah, it's comfortable. So Buick is trying to get you interested because of the way it looks. It looks dynamic, but once you find the price, I think it's going to get some people excited. The Envision base model front-wheel drive starts at just over $36,000. The all-wheel drive base model is $38,500, and the Avenir all-wheel drive top trim is almost $45,000. Here's the fuel economy, 10.5 litres per 100 kilometres city, 8.2 on the highway, that's 22 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway. I think for me, and I think for Zach as well, we really like this sporty exterior look. So we would get the Essence trim, but we would add the Sport Touring package for just almost $1,300. There's a Technology One package for almost $3,000 where you get the Bose uh, surround system and you get the head-up display and front and rear parking. You kind of want that. Yeah, you kind of want that. And then I would also get the panoramic sunroof. Zach would probably go without it, but I think for resale value, you, it's a good one to have. Or I just don't want to sleep on the sofa. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, I I, basically like it's the car we have here, but with the sunroof. Yes. That's the way we would get so, it. And what's that going to run? So that's going to run at $46,000, which is more than the top trim Avenir, which is around $45,000. But I think if you want a sporty look, then you have to kind of go with that. Now, if you are on a very tight budget, you can get a trim that's lower mm -hmm. because it comes with so many standard features and the active safety features on this are all standard. It is quite something. Plenty of tech, a youthful looking exterior. Will Buick get some younger buyers with this new Envision? Well, the price is right, that's for sure. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below.